Hey, what's up, YouTube and Bible collectors? This is Pastor Matt looking at a couple of Bibles today. Now, I want to remind you of the old Mark Twain historical fiction called The Prince and the Pauper. You remember that one? It was about Prince Edward, the son of King Henry VIII, who had an identical twin who was a much poorer uh, young boy and the adventures that the two of them had. Well, we might be able to think of these two Bibles as the prince and the pauper here. We're going to look at two Bibles that are essentially exactly the same on the inside and very different on the outside. So let me go ahead and introduce them to you right now. This right here is a Bible made by R.L. Allen out of London, England, and is a collector's piece and a masterwork of art. Uh, it has an incredible goatskin cover, one of the softest that you can get. It has an amazingly tactile inner liner, and uh, this Bible is as beautiful as it is helpful and useful to uh, the Christian believer. Uh, this Bible is variously called the ESV-1 or uh, the Classic Reference Edition, again, made and bound by R.L. Allen using a crossway text block right here on the inside. And so you can see here that this beautiful Bible has two columns on either page, and it does have center column, column uh, references right here in the middle of the page. And this Bible, one of the things that I love about it is that it happens to be the perfect size, and I do think there's a sweet spot size for Bibles, and that would be somewhere in the neighborhood of eight and a half inches tall by five and a half inches wide. That, for me, is the sweet spot of Bible size. So you have this incredible um, high-end edition made by R.L. Allen. They pull out all the stops everywhere you go. These uh, beautiful, wide Beresford rib ribbons here. Uh, you get three of them. They're in gold. You get the art gilt pages, meaning that there's a red a page die stained underneath. The gold uh, gilting, the metallic on the outside. <clears throat> in one of the most useful handheld editions of the Bible that you can acquire, which is the new uh, classic reference. That's what's inside the Bible itself. Now, sometimes people have this debate online about what Bible is the one. And it's kind of like asking who's the, you know, the pound for pound best fighter in the world. You've got different weight classes, you know, different challenges between heavyweight, lightweight, and, you know, flyweights and all that. Uh, well, the question of what is the best Bible is sort of like that mythical question, because really, um, with any Bible, you, you really can't have everything. Um, it's either going to be a study Bible with incredible notes, or it's going to be a wide margin Bible with uh, really helpful margins, or it's going to be on the smaller end, which makes it portable and worthy of carry. Uh, a lot of notes, little notes, big, small, heavy, uh, thin all of those variations, well, one could certainly argue that the ESV-1 crossway, crossway text block, especially in the R.L. Allen external goatskin and leather liner, could really be that one. I mean, it really does do the work of all the, uh, has all the fantastic study um, references. It does have the lined paper in the back, which for me is, I love it as a note taker. Lots of maps and color stuff in the back. It would be hard to argue that you could get a better The One than uh, the ESV-1 or the Classic Reference Edition by R.L. Allen. Now, the problem is you can't get them here in the United States. Of course, Allen Bibles come from London, England, and you have to buy them in pounds instead of dollars. This one costs 120 pounds, which converted into American dollars is about 157 bucks. Right? So pretty expensive stuff here for this Bible, albeit beautiful and useful in every possible way and category. So let's go back to our story of the Prince and the Pauper, shall we? What we have here now underneath is the same Bible, the new classic reference edition by Crossway, only this time uh, made here in America. Well, at least Crossway is an American company. I think the paper might be printed in China. Um, but you have it in a, in a much less expensive true tone, which means an artificial cover. And you don't get a beautiful leather inner liner. You, instead, you get paper. But what you do get with this Bible is that exact same uh, 
inner stuff. You get all the guts. You get all the works. And I will tell you that for a $35 Bible, which is what this one costs, the paper in this edition is fantastic. In fact, the paper is exactly the same in terms of its opacity as the much more expensive R.L. Allen Bible. Thus, you have the pauper right here for 35 bucks that you could get if you couldn't afford the R.L. Allen ESV-1. Okay, now a couple things that I like about this Bible, and then I'll let you go. First of all, the font in both of these editions is really quite large. It's, it's actually quite readable. Now, I'm looking on the back here of the box, and they give you this little thing where it says actual type size. I could be totally wrong, but it actually looks bigger in the Bible itself than it even does on the box where they say actual size. Um, it says nine point font here. Now font is relative, you know, to the size of the Bible and all that. There's, there's a lot of things like leading, you know, how wide are the lines apart from each other. All that factors in. What I'm trying to say though, is that this Bible is among the most readable that there are out there. If you want a two column reference edition with no study notes, man, this, this is the one. More than that, for preachers, one thing I'm very much attracted to is that the verse numbers are quite large and they're in bold. And I wish more Bibles did that because as a preacher, it makes it much more easy to find the very verse that you're looking for when you're looking for it. Okay? So is this Bible line matched? Well, no, it's not. And you can see that in the Psalms, that it's not. Usually the Psalms are the best place to see how thin the paper is because you can read right through to the backside. But I will tell you, this paper very well done, whether you get the prints or whether you get the pauper. So with either one of these Bibles, you have a hand-sized reference edition of the English Standard Version, super high-end leather, a super affordable true tone, the prints, the pauper, they're both fantastic. So what I'm going to do, as I always do in my videos, is I'm going to post the links to where you can grab these, two places you can get the R.L. Allen, one is on evangelicalbible.com, it's a company here in the United States, or two, you could get it from biblesdirect.co slash UK, something like that, from R.L. Allen themselves. 157 bucks American. Or you can get the pauper over here for $35 American money, and you can have an excellent handheld reference edition, two columns, with very good paper. All right, there you go. Links description box. You know the drill. You've been with me for a while now. Love you lots. Talk to you later.